<sighs> hey, YouTubers, glam bammers, or whatever you want to call yourself. It is I. I know it's been a while since I posted, but been real busy. Well, um, we have to talk about something. I really want you to understand how important this is. I'm not sure about everybody else's experience. And this is really not a product review. It's more like a warning. Okay, so um, I just threw this on because, you know, my hair's a mess. You'll see that in the next video. So um, let's talk about um, the products that I use to do my, um, my uh, lace frontals, you know, glue them down and whatnot. So I use this. It, that I absolutely love this. I love this. This is the got to be glued freeze spray. I know you guys seen this. I know you guys seen this on other people's channels. But yeah, I use it. It really, really does work. I love it. You know, you put the glue on and then you freeze spray and blow dry. So um, I also use or used these two items. I don't know where to look at. I have to always some I don't know where to look at. So I use the Got to Be Glued Ultra Hold. Love it. Got to be glued. Got to be glued ultra hold. And of course the gorilla glue. Gorilla glue. Okay. So let's talk about these two items really quick. So my first experience is with this one. I want to talk about this one first. This one did the job and did the job that I wanted and it did it perfectly. And I didn't have a problem with it. You know, the hair stayed for about two days, two to three, two to three days. And I uh, didn't have any problems with it. I absolutely love this product. Got to be glued. But then I wanted to see what the whole argument and hoopla was about. Which one is better, right? So I got the Gorilla Glue. Gorilla Glue. All right. So I actually use this. You know, and I'm gonna tell you how I used it. I um I applied it a small amount, you know, across my hairline right there. Applied a small amount, and then of course I put some freeze spray and bl blow dried it, you know, with some cool air. And then I did another layer. I did two layers of this, and I did not use a lot. Okay, I used like this much a dot and then I just did that around there okay I did it twice two times two times okay so I'm gonna tell you something this this worked this made the wig stick to my forehead it stuck to my forehead so good I could not get it off yes gorilla glue this is crazy so, I'm going to tell you something. I couldn't get it off, so I left the wig on for about a whole week and still trying to loosen it up, you know, loosen it, loosen it. And it just felt like it was started to burn after a week. I started to get this burning sensation like something's wrong. I can't get this off. I could not get this off. <laughs> so, the wig was actually stuck on my head. Okay, so... um. I was like, what am I going to do? So every day I would try to like wet it, put oil on it, put different things on it to get it off. And uh, finally it came off. Eventually it came off, right? But when it came off, you know, unfortunately it took my edges off right with it. Now I'm, I'm not sure if you can see, but if you can notice this like white kind of ring around my forehead this is where the glue was and of course it pulled out the little bit of hair that I had right here just pulled it all out just it was like getting a wax it was like getting a wax treatment it was just horrifying it was horrifying so it popped all that off and it burnt my forehead I had, I had this big burn okay <sighs> Anyway, so 
So, um, that's basically my experience with using these two glues. You know, the got to be glue and the gorilla glue. All right. I'm going to tell you one more time. This works. This will hold your hair down. This will stick that hair to that head. Believe me. And if you do use this, only use a little bit. A very, very little bit. Okay? It works. <laughs> It'll be hard to come off, but it works. This one is like more temporary. This one will last you about two to three days if you want to keep the weave on or the, you know, the hair on for a couple days. This one I recommend because I think it's safer to use, honestly. I don't see this as being a safe product for anybody. Not only did it burn my forehead and left a ring, it took my hair out and it was very hard to get off. This is like crazy glue. But, you know, to each his own, right? If it works for you, then so be it. Anyway, this is what I'm recommending. The product that I recommend for your lace fronts is the Got To Be Glued glue and, of course, the free spray. Got To Be Free Spray. These are the two products that I recommend. So, um, anyway, with that said, if you um, click on my next video, which I'm going to try to link it or leave the link below, you'll see the big chop. You have to see the big chop, you know, because that glue did not come out my hair. So if you see the glue, this is the Gorilla Glue. It's not coming out. It is on there. And this just like... It just rubbed off my forehead and got into my hair as I was trying to get it out. So all of that is the got to be glued. And this is like three weeks later. This is three weeks later. My hair even grew. Look at all that new growth. So this is like three, three weeks later. Look at that. And um, if I try to get it out it just pulls my freaking hair out it just pulls it out it's ridiculous anyway so i don't want to say too long on this issue <laughs> i'm gonna let you guys go and like i said um click on my big chop you know it's going to be down below please subscribe like and share and i plan on doing a lot more videos i forgot to mention one more thing i actually use this prote protective shield on my head first so this was the first thing that i applied before i used the gorilla glue or the got to be glued so this is the protective shield you know i sometimes i use a stocking cap but you know i was kind of in a rush <laughs> you know even with the stocking cap the glue seeps through it so it really doesn't matter anyway i just wanted to add this I'll list this in the description box below. All right, so I'll see you next time.